Welcome to Country Music Matters, and we have the lovely Ashton Shepard. Hi. I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to be on camera, but now we're all fixed up. Now you're all fixed up and beautiful. Um, we haven't seen you in a couple of years. What's going on? Well, um, where you been? I've been. Sort of taking it easy at the house a little bit. Still doing career stuff, but... Oh, gotta, gotta talk a little louder. Okay. <laughs> wow, everyone told that before. <laughs> I better write it down. But no, um, I've been doing the mama deal. Everybody knows I've got um, James that's 12, and i got Raiden six. So I have to sort of fluctuate between music and mama stuff. But um, last couple of years have still been busy for me, just not quite as busy, but... Um, I've started meeting some new friends and new people, uh, Nathan Stanley being one of them. So we're building uh, a tour for the fall that I'm really excited about. And uh, we met back in October for the Ralph Stanley tribute, which was his granddaddy's tribute at the Opry. And uh, that was a really neat experience. And it's brought a lot of, I don't know, I just feel like that was sort of a little starting point for me that kind of snowballed into meeting another person and another person. And so it's gotten me busier. So I've been busier, and I'm just gonna start cutting new music, and hopefully um, looking to get back on like the casino circuit, doing some more full band stuff, also along with uh, touring with Nathan. So I'm really excited about this year. Now tell us about that tour with Nathan. Well, we call it we're calling it the Country Roots Tour. Right now we've got about in between 10 and 15 dates secured, uh, starting around the first of September. So we're excited. And uh, I don't, I can't name the specific dates. Nathan is like guru, perfect at handling all that. And uh, he's got created events for almost all of it on uh, Facebook and everything. And I encourage people to be sure to follow me on Facebook, but also to follow Nathan too. Now, is it your music, his music, or corporation of it? Uh, it's an incorporation. It's going to be Ralph Stanley's music in there as well. Oh yeah, it's going to be. Um, that's why he he approached me with it and said, you know, let's do me and you. Uh, let's do cover songs, cover country, oh, maybe some uh, bluegrass gospel. And your stuff and my stuff, we're just going to have a good time together on stage. And we want to bring something to the audience that's a little bit different. And that's kind of a breath of fresh air in today's market. You know, um, I know everything's a lot more modern country now. And so we're just kind of sticking to our roots, and that's why we're calling it that. It's a country roots tour. Is it acoustic, or do you have it'll band? Be, it'll be acoustic and band. We'll do both. Okay, now how do you, how did you get your band? How do you find people and like I, I want to put a band together or just what is the process with that? You know, I've always been fortunate to to have people that put that together for me. Like when when I had my record deal with Universal, they put me with a booking agency that helped seek out those people. And since that point, I've met the right people at the right times. Um, one of my good friends. Um, Kevin Moon is uh, also in the music industry, and at this point in time, he started putting my band together for me. He does his own music entertainment company, and he handles that for me. So that's how, um, because I just know people. It's sort of like, it's hard to explain. It's like somehow you meet the right people that, you know people that know people, Yeah. and it puts it together. It's networking. Right. Is basically what it is. So have you been stockpiling some songs for us here since you've been like laying low? But I know once a songwriter... Always a songwriter. Oh, that's it. it. It never goes away. Like, I may not write as often, but um, I've got lots of new material. And, and I've sort of been, that's why I encourage people following Facebook. And I put so much energy into my Facebook is because that's where I share my newest material acoustically. So I can say, here, here guys, here's what we're looking at putting on the new record. And I've been doing that for about a year. And about every two months, I'll throw something on there new. And really getting a huge response and I'm excited about that also the fact that this is real country music and people are responding very largely about it it makes me happy well it's a good platform and your fans are your critics oh they are because what you're doing is not only for your satisfaction and and, and the, but them I mean you're doing it for them oh it's no doubt no doubt about it and um, and they will tell you fans will tell you when something is oh no, and something is, oh yes. Oh, they don't hesitate. Right. And, um, you, know, I've, you know, it's it's kind of been a crazy last, like, six months. I've just met, it's funny, because you think in the music industry, you know how it is, you meet so many people in the networking process that you just mentioned, and you think, 
sometimes it feels like you've met everyone. And then all of a sudden in the last six months, I've met so many new people that are opening up different facets for me, even um, a good friend of mine, and I'm gonna just sort of tease this a little bit, I'm not even gonna say who it is, um, contacted me a couple months ago about doing a duet. Well then, another one, another, this is a male artist, contacted me about doing a duet, and I'm going, sure. So if I can, that goes back to marketing and promoting, if I can get a couple duets and I, that I'm working with, with, with artists, a male artist, and then I'm also doing my own record, then it's kind of like the, what is it? I'm not, I'm, I'm cooking with grease and gravy then, I'm gonna be doing good, you know? And um, and that's what keeps me going, is opportunities have been arising more so this year than they have in a while. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm proud to be talking about it in this interview and, and making people aware of it, because it's hard to put it out there, like, yeah. here's what I'm building, but yeah. it's there, it's being built. Now this may go back just a few years. Um, school, did you take music in school? I didn't. You didn't, not at all? Mm -mm. I can't even read music. <laughs> Ain't that sad? <laughs> no. no, I just, I do everything by ear, but I, I, um, <clears throat> I did enjoy, um, I enjoyed, I, I, what would they call it in high school? Exempt. I was exempt in business law, typing, and artist and literature. And, um, it, it, like art, it was art, literature, and, um, like reading, that kind of stuff, yeah. English, grammar, and um, we went to a really small little private school. You excelled in it. I did, I did, in those subjects because I really liked them. And it's funny because now I'm running my own company in the music industry and I'm yeah. always using businessy, business law things and grammar and so it's, I think it's really important to pay attention to what you're drawn to. Yeah. It really is. I've met some young people this week and it really amazed me how many of them now are saying, we want to get some college. We want, we do want to go to college. Right. Or we do want to take some courses for business or, or Oh, absolutely. But we do want to get our education yeah. as well as doing this. Right. And, and I encourage, my situation growing up was, I, I went, you know, I, I, I finished high school, but I'm only 31 now. So, I got started very young with my family. I got married at 18. My little boy was born at 18. I'm, I'm at 18 years old. And so, I got my record deal when I'm 20. So, right when everyone else would have been graduating high school and getting in college, I was just jumping on this big old boat. Like, oh, here we go. I've never yeah. been outside Alabama. <laughs> I'm going to have to really put on my thinking cap and learn. But I still... I mean, I have people ask, do I like to read? And I do, but I read, um, I like to learn. I think it's great when people want to learn. Yeah. When, to me, that like speaks determination. Yeah. And I, I think that's something I try to really encourage um, my, about with my children and, uh, you know, parents to their children. It does count to have an education. It, it gives you more, kind of like the old thing, Schoolhouse Rock, knowledge is power. Now you're you're transitioning. You're you're kind of like almost in a way starting over. I am. How how does that feel? I mean, so much has changed since over the past few years with this industry. How does this feel? You know, it it's it's really a mixture to me of feeling. It almost feels uh, welcoming, and and the reason it probably wouldn't feel that way if I hadn't have been. What I feel like on inside, just being spiritually prepared for it, and prepared by knowledge, also of I haven't taken courses and I'm not in college, but I never stop researching real, legitimate research on what this industry is doing, how the industry is making money, and all the ins and outs that aren't always in the faces of the fans, but it's what churns in the background. So I feel I feel pretty confident and I feel welcomed by it because I. I feel prepared for it. I didn't feel prepared when I was 20. You know, I I felt musically prepared, you know, like I knew this was what God meant for me to do. I've been doing this and singing in competitions since I was eight years old, but I feel prepared now and I didn't then. Age can also bring knowledge. Yeah. And, and experience. As you go, yeah, experience and everything. I see out there your son has been doing some singing. Yes. Is he going to be like one of your band members? <laughs> you know what? Speaking of that, and which he—he's a cross between like 
like believing in yourself big time about it meets still a little sheepish about it because I personally, I actually told um, the people I'm speaking with about making my new record and everything. I said, you know, I really do want my son to come in and play the studio drums. And I know they're different. I know they're different than live drums, mm -hmm. but he's that good. And I've tested the waters with him, bringing him on stage with me at big concerts. And the crowd just loves it. We shared it on Facebook. I think he got, I was like, dang, son, you whipped me all over the place. He got 40,000 views organically. And I'm like, this is special because that's my that's my children, my little girl singing. She's six years old. Yeah. So it like you asked me about feeling prepared. I just feel I don't know, I feel extra prepared even with them. It's like a little cushion for me that I have even more to show the world now than I've ever had, if that makes any sense. It does. You've been in this a long time. What has been one of your biggest rewards? Oh gosh, um, it's hard to say. Um, to me, I feel like just the opportunity to, um, I mean, it's, it's rewarding to be able to share what I do with everyone else. Um, whether it be, I mean, honestly, whether it be financially, with, hey, I can help my parents with something, or whether it be spiritually, to be able to, to offer something that's helpful to someone that's going through a hard time, that's been extremely rewarding for me. It's what's kept my reward center from being completely broken when I felt wounded throughout my career. That's been, it's been super rewarding to be able to help others, what I feel like. Good, we've kind of like, so the rest of the year is music and this tour with Nathan and what else? Well, and here's the thing. Having, I'm glad you, you're just always so great to, to, to talk to in interviews because you identify like even, before, it's like you read my mind because you said it's like I'm starting new. And it is, it's almost like this is my opportunity to take everything I've done all along the way and resurface it and renew it and bring it back into light. Even like my little cooking show that I did six episodes with and threw it on YouTube. Just testing the water, seeing if people, I didn't know if people would respond to me cooking. Like, do y'all you know what I mean? Like, she's not a real cook. Like, you know what I mean? Like, are people gonna think I need to be more culinary smart? But it, people responded to it. So there's, there's all these things that I can take now and say, okay, Ashton, what's next? You know, we've got my duets in the works. We've got new music in the works. And I think it's, for me, it's about handpicking what I think is gonna resonate to the fans the most and, and what they respond to the most. And um, I'm even debating just to put, get music out there quicker, doing like a little EP, like I did before Where Country Grows, mm -hmm. just, you know, four or five song, little compilation to kind of test the waters with fans, on, you know, before um, I released the full record. And I'm at this point of wanting to do, you know who I, how I do, I, I, wanna, I wanna do something different that speaks different than the typical mold. Like, I don't want to see CD sales completely go away. I don't want to see the vintage type things that I hold dear to me in tradition and country music to go away. I want to try to accent the rest of this year on rebuilding that for myself, for fans, and um, from opening up, I've been wanting to open like an Ashton Shepherd country store on my Facebook, like just canvas art or lots of stuff, you know, just, I guess you could kind of call me like the dreamer entrepreneur, and I probably probably keep too much cooking up here sometimes, but um, folks like yourself believing in me and being fans of my music, it always helps me stay centered and, and focused at the end of the day that this is what I want to be doing. So where can people keep up with you on social media? Uh, Facebook is uh, just Ashton Shepard. Um, Twitter, I don't do as much of, I don't know, it's like, I, that's not quite where my fans are, but I do have Twitter. Um, it's, I think it's Ashton Country One. My other Twitter got spammed, and we were so sad. I was anyway. Thirteen thousand followers down a hogs, whatever, because I don't know it got compromised. But um, then uh, Instagram is uh, Ashton Shepherd Official. Okay. So everybody can find me on social media, but my Facebook's kind of where I live the most. Well, I am so so happy we got to see you again and catch up because I know you've got great things coming. 
and we're yes, going to be watching out for you. Well, thank you. Thank you, honey. Have a great time today. You 